Hello, dear viewers. Welcome you for another edition of the Bravo Prosper Tales. And in this week's edition of the Bravo Prosper Tales, we want to be focusing on climate change. Of course, as usual, we shall be asking a million dollar question. And in this week's edition, million dollar question shall be how are young people responsive to the effects or impacts of climate change? As you may realize, climate change is real. It's, be it's been realized as one of the moment as one of the moment problems we must tackle if the future of the world must be prosperous. Of course, Africa is one of those countries that is disastrously being affected by the effects of climate change despite the fact that we didn't contribute to it. Appearance, perhaps, that's what, <laughs> for lack of a better word, we didn't contribute to, to its happen, for its occurrence. But we are adversely facing the effects of climate change. When you go to countries like, um, countries in the Horn of Africa and see how they've been affected by droughts, severe droughts that lead to death of people, that lead to famine. We, in our own country here, we, we were faced with um, the disaster of drought and hunger, of course, where we had so people lose their lives in the western districts of, uh, in the southern districts of, of Isinjiro and the neighboring districts. And then, of course, northern Uganda, uh, when you go to countries like um, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Somalia, these are countries that are being disastrously affected by the effects of climate change, despite the fact that they did contribute to their occurrences. However, it's already in place. It's already been realized. It's and it's good. It's great that we've been able to realize it on time before it goes beyond repair. That's what I can say. As our, it's it's our role. It's our role as citizens of this country, as citizens of the global village, as citizens of planet Earth, as people who look at the future, not people who look at the present. We must join hands, we must come together to see how we best can combat the effects of climate change, how best we can control the causes, the things that bring about climate change. It's just fine. It's embarrassing to see how people are dealing with waste management in different parts of the country, especially in the urban centers. In the urban setting in Africa, there's a lot of mismanagement of waste and mismanagement, both human and non-human waste, waste. Of course, and the focus has been on plastic waste. When you go to most of the areas, most especially in uh, downtown areas, when you go to places, slum areas, you Perhaps you may be forced to, to assume that these people are not part of the world, living their own world, because these are individuals who live in very poor environments, in environments where everything they deal with is dirty. And the reason is they haven't been able to understand the impacts of climate change. Even when they do, they haven't taken any step to ensure that they overcome the challenge that they're faced with. And uh, of course, the evidence exists, and the evidence lies in the fact that these people haven't been able to manage the waste that comes from their households, that comes from their shops, that comes from the neighboring areas. They deposit this waste in tunnels, where water in sewage passages. They deposit it in the neighborhood next to our houses, just because, not because they aren't aware, but because they feel it's fine with them. But of course, they haven't been affected. They have been affected, but haven't realized. It's my duty, you and I, to come up with solutions, to come up with ways in which we can assist these people, to ensure that they realize 
the impacts of climate change that they realize that it's time to deal with the West. It's time to dispose of our West in a proper manner. Least that we shouldn't be able to get where we want to be. We shouldn't be able to realize the middle income status. We shall, but it's just a few individuals that shall enjoy it. We shall work for it, but we shall never live to enjoy it. It's my simple appeal, my great appeal to the government, but of course, the government is you and I. We must come up, we must stand on our own feet and desist from any form of poor waste management. It's my duty, it's my responsibility to ensure that I maintain a clean city, that I maintain a clean country. So, what is it that I have to do? It's about my attitude. I must stand steadfastly on my two legs and see how best I can manage this West. When, of course, I've had an opportunity to pass through some of the most affected areas, and those are slum areas. I've gone to one of the famous um, Kiseni, I've been to Katanga, just some of the areas where people haven't been our. But of course, we must come up with an agenda. We must come up with solutions. Solutions that are not short term, but solutions that are long term. That's what I can say. For now, a program, a project is underway to see how this. I and the rest of my team can assist the people that are greatly affected by the effects of waste management and of course climate change. Climate change is real. We must live to realize its reality and be able to see how best we can adapt. In the past, our ancestors, the people that lived before you and I, Whenever the world challenged, they were faced with the effects of climate change that was always evidenced in the forms of drought, so heavy rains that brought about flooding. They always fled to new areas, but the new areas no longer exist. So we must come up with adaptive strategies. We must come up with solutions that will enable us not to get not to face the challenges of climate change, but of course solutions that will enable us not to face them. It, what do I mean? I mean we must come up with solutions, with recommendations that we must communicate to the public, that we must communicate to society and be able to realize what we aspire for, what we have to live for and what we shall be able to tell our grandchildren, our grand, great grandchildren when they come on, the, on this mighty planet. They shall be able to tell stories of how we left the whole world for them. If we don't find solutions to this problem that we are faced with today. Sir. It's you and I, we must strive, we must struggle and see how we can achieve, how we can combat and be able to curb the challenges that have risen as a result of climate change. Robert Tunia Mahaji is my name and I'm your host for the Robert Post Hotels. Don't forget to comment on our week's million dollar question. The million dollar question is how prepared are the young people in Africa to the impacts of climate change? In other words, how responsive are we to the impacts of climate change? Don't forget to like, share and comment on our Facebook page. Robert Tindia Mahachi is my name. All the best.